Right, question 15. It's got a uh, fractions question here, and this one's a divide fractions question, so hopefully you know what you're doing here, but uh, multiplying fractions are much easier than divide by fractions, so let's turn this into a multiply question. Oh, so if we've got uh, two thirds, uh, I'm going to times it by, so I'm changing divide to times, as a consequence, I'm finding the reciprocal of flipping the second fraction upside down. And then that's easy. So we've got 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 5 is 15. Give your answer in its simplest form. So 3 is the highest common factor of both of these things. It goes in 4 times to 12. 3 goes 5 times into 15. This question is on the bottom, uh, is, a, is on the add and subtract type. So in this case, we can't just multiply across the top and across the bottom. We've got to get a similar denominator. But first, let's turn them into uh, top heavy fractions. There are other ways to do this, but this is how I tend to do these questions. So let's turn it to top heavy. Um, there's, this is in thirds, so there's six thirds in two. There's three thirds in one, six thirds in two plus this other one, makes that 7 thirds. Subtract. In, we're in fifths for this, this fraction here, so there's 5 fifths in the whole number, plus 2 more, 7 fifths. And now we can see we can work with a similar denominator. In this case, I'm going to choose the denominator of 15. 15 is the lowest common multiple of these two. Uh, to get from 3 from 15, it had to get 5 times bigger, so that's 35 over 15. And from 5 to 15, it was 3 times bigger, so that's 3 times bigger than this is 21. And then that gives me 35 minus 21 is 14 fifteenths. And that's it, we're done.